Hey guys, in this video, uh, we're going to make it pretty quick. I'm just going to teach you kind of some quick ways to add more visual graphics to your screens. So you remember in the previous lessons, um, sufficient software so it's like your company logo. And I just kind of jelly rigged it real quickly inside my other lesson. Just to kind of give you guys an idea to link your screens. But now that I'm giving you one extra day to kind of improve your screens, let's see some customized art. Okay, so first thing I'm going to teach you guys to do real quickly is to go ahead and add in your own image. So I'm going to add an image right here to my, so I'm inside my Lesson 12, Bubble 13. I'm going to the design page, and this is my start screen. And I'm just going to add an image right here. And I'm basically going to delete this one right here. So I'm going to kind of delete the text area. So now I'm going to kind of create a logo. So I have to choose an image right here. The unfortunate part is that um, you can't really make a image inside of um, you can't really make an image inside of uh, the app lab. However, you can make an image inside a game lab, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to game lab, and we're going to go to like my projects, and you're going to go to the game lab, and you can use the game lab animation tab. To go ahead and create your own images. So I'm going to go ahead and create one. And I'm going to draw my own. And I can go make my own logo. So I can sit here and, you know, kind of hand draw something uh, like sufficient software or something like that. The unfortunate part is that they don't have a text tool. So I can't use text. Um, I can draw shapes, move things around. Um, unfortunately, there is no text tool. Uh, at least not that I know of. Okay. And um, but there's cool things like crop and that's good, but, you know, not all the things that we need. So I'm actually going to go ahead and teach you guys another trick to kind of create this the way that I would want to do it. OK, not that you have to do this, but it's just giving you a new technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my own or I'm sorry, I'm not going to draw my own. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make one on Google Docs. So we taught you guys how to do this a long time ago. If you go to a new tab. And you go to your pancake or your triple dot nine dot or whatever it is and you click on the um, google docs you remember i taught you a tool inside of here so you go to the insert tab and you can insert your own drawing so you're going to go ahead and click new and the cool part about this tool google um, drawing is that you can actually draw yourself a text box. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a text box and I can go ahead and make myself a capital S, right? And I'm going to go ahead and change some of the uh, settings here. I'm going to go ahead and use caveat, which is kind of curvy. And I'm going to go ahead and make a really large size S. And then to make the other sufficient software, I'm just going to use smaller text. So I'm going to go ahead and go click on another text box. Um, just change this time the font size, leave the font size, but change the font type and go ahead and spell sufficient. It looks something like this, sufficient, uh, I spell that right? Is it K-E-F-C-I-E-T? Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the capital S, sufficient, enter software. Okay. Obviously it's going to detect it as misspelling, but um, that's what we're kind of aiming for. So I'm going to go ahead and move this somewhere right here. And now it's starting to look pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a little space, make that one even more close fitted to the S. And then I'm going to go ahead and move, uh, oops, go ahead and move both of these. So I'm going to kind of drag, and drag over all of it. Try to get as close to the corner as I can. Actually, I can actually decrease the size of uh, these boxes in case that doesn't crop as well as I would like and the cool thing about uh, You know uh, Google drawing inside of Google Docs is that you can actually go ahead and insert free images So if you go to here and search you can actually search the internet for commercial reuse So I'm just going to go ahead and click on like let's say I want a computer logo And I find some computer logos that I like I go ahead and click the one that I like go ahead and select it so suppose that this is the logo that I want with my uh, text here. I'm going to decrease it down. And there you have it. Now, the unfortunate part, <laughs> I'm always telling you about the bad parts of some certain software, as is there's no crop tool here, right? There's no crop tool to um, crop my logo. 
So we're going to have to do a little bit of, of, of using multiple softwares here. We're going to go ahead and go to action and we're going to download this thing as a PNG. Don't use JPEG, use PNG. Um, it's usually more condensed and it uses the transparent background here. So we'll go ahead and download it. It's going to download it into your my files. In my case, it's going to be in the downloads folder. It might be in your downloads folder too. We're going to go ahead and uh, just save and close. This really matter because we already saved it. So let's go ahead and go to back into our game lab and click on this new animation. Now we can upload an image. And I'm going to go ahead and upload the uh, the one I just created. Click open. And you can see now my icon and PNG file is uh, downloaded into here. Now, Mr. Wynn, why did you choose to do it here? Again, it's because I want to crop the size of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on crop the sprite here. And it goes nicely cropped now. Um, of course, the graphics could be a little bit better, but hey, what are we doing? We're just doing some logos here. Nothing too crazy. So I'm going to go ahead now that I created this, go ahead and export it. So I just imported it. I cropped it. Let's go ahead and export it real quick. And it's going to click uh, export. You know, you have a GIF and a zip file. Just go ahead and download as a zip file because you want to keep the PNG format. Um, a GIF file is an animated, you know, art. So we don't, we're not doing anything animated here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on PNG, download as a zip file. It's going to download somewhere into your computer. We're going to go into here now. And finally, we get to go to image. And let's go ahead and choose, upload, uh, choose a file, upload something. Um, and let's go ahead and check where my, uh, my, imported zip file is so is it under documents or where is this thing on my desktop uh it should be somewhere wherever you saved it let's go ahead i'm gonna hit cancel figure out where this thing is oh it's here but i need to go ahead and uh unzip it so if you guys zipped it go ahead and unzip it i'm gonna click on this i'm gonna take this and then drag it to um you know, you, once you click on it, you can unzip it. I'm going to drag it and just put it back into my document here. So you guys won't have that image because I did already did a test run with this. But now that you put it into your document package, you can go ahead and close it. Now you can go ahead and upload it. And mine's going to be inside the document folder. It's going to be called Sprite Zero. You guys will find the same thing. Go ahead and click Choose. And voila. I now have a logo that I can say was customized, made by me. I can resize it, get it kind of get it the right uh, look that I want. Okay, and there you have it. So it's just kind of a, a cool way that you know you can go ahead and create some customized um, screens and softwares. Um, I can even go back and create that little triangle, uh, create that triangle to kind of make. Um, do you guys remember on the uh, the home page, you know, all this text was supposed to be inside a triangle. So I can draw that triangle and kind of make these layered um, uh, stuff and uh, be done. So just a kind of a cool thing we can do there to uh, kind of create it. Uh, maybe I'll teach you guys uh, some other app that might be even be better that does have a crop tool um, so that you don't have to kind of do it through a Google drawing and this and this. So, I mean, there's always some software that's probably going to be better, maybe some type of online version that will help us create some of this art. But anyway, so just want to give you guys uh, some time now to kind of customize your screens and really get that uh, look, you know, like kind of like this, kind of get something cool looking for your uh, for your logos and your, your, your welcome screens and whatnot. Okay, and I'll see you guys later.